Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our midweek devotions. It's 22nd of December, 2021. Today, I'm going to be reading from Micah chapter 5 and starting at verse 2 to the first half of verse 5. But you, O Bethlehem, Ephrathath, who are too little to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose coming forth is from of old, from ancient days. Therefore, he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labour has given birth. Then the rest of his brothers shall return to the people of Israel, and he shall stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord and in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they shall dwell secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and he shall be their peace. How do you measure greatness or success? For many it is measured by power, money, prestige, something that is large, etc. Here though, God, through the prophet Micah, proclaims a vision for his people. He won't start where you would expect, but he starts with the least of these, Bethlehem, the smallest tribe, in the smallest province of the small in the in a backwater town will provide the king Bethlehem you are too small to be counted amongst the tribes of Judah but you will see something great so we see here this hope in small things this hope in the unexpected. There's hope because the king is coming. Not only a king, but the king. The king who predates history. He's from the ancient of days, we read. He predates history. He is to be born. He is to be a shepherd. He is to lead in the strength of the Lord. He is the majesty of the Lord. He brings security to God's people. He brings peace to God's people. And he will be proclaimed in all the world. That's the promise we see here in Micah. About this king who is coming, who is going to be born from the least of these. And God, in the midst of destruction and pain, that's what's going on in Israel at this time, he is letting his people know that there is hope. Not hope in the big and powerful, not hope in this world's systems, but in the humble servant who will be king who will rule his people. There is hope in the one prophesied here in Maker. There is hope in the king who was born, who was pre-existent. There is hope in Jesus. The king who was born in obscurity. He is a pre-existent king of the world. Have you placed your hope and your trust in him? My prayer for you is that you have. Shall we pray? Lord God, oh, we thank you, Lord, that uh, in the midst of this uh, this book of prophecy, Lord, that is uh, talking about pain and destruction, things that will come because of the sin of uh, your people. Lord, we see 
the hope, Lord, that you give us. The hope, Lord, that isn't in the big and the powerful of this world, isn't in this world systems, isn't in conquering our enemies in this world, but our hope is placed in the King who is pre-existent, who will come and lead well and come and bring peace and security to us in your kingdom. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that that promise was given and, Lord, that that promise was fulfilled that first Christmas as you came as a baby and you grew to be the man, the Messiah, our saviour, our redeemer, our rescuer. Lord, you came to give us life in all its fullness. Lord, I thank you and I praise your name for that just now. Lord, uh, I pray, Lord, uh, for each one listening this this morning, Lord, that they too will put their hope and their trust in you, the King of the world, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour. Amen. Thank you very much. Goodbye and God bless.